we can't spell success without you. Pal Plan Project presents Back in the Kitchen Quick and Easy Custard Well, hello there and welcome to Back in the Kitchen. One thing we've not done on this channel is sweet stuff. So I decided to make custard of all things today. First of all, okay, I haven't done any sweet uh, foods. And secondly, I remember doing custard when I was younger. It's always seemed to turn up into a lumpy mess. It just never seemed right. It was never silky and smooth. It was an absolute pain. But I did find a way of making the custard much better. So today, we thought we'd have a look at custard. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So what we're going to need for this, uh, we're going to use 200 milliliters of skim milk, a sweetener, just one tablet, and an 8 teaspoon of custard powder. That'll work out around 15 grams. So the first thing what we need to do is get our cup and put in the sweetener. As soon as that's in, with the custard powder. Once that's in, what we want to do is add a little bit of the semi skim milk and just give it a stir. Now we want it to, in effect, become a liquid. If there's any lumps in there, keep stirring until the lumps disappear. Once wrapped here, we should have a nice yellow colour. Let's put the other 200 millilitres of milk into the cup. And what we need to do at this point is set the microwave for two minutes. This will take around two minutes. Once we've done that, pop the cup with the custard, the milk and the sweetener into the microwave and let it run. Now after a little while, say 20 seconds, simply stop the microwave, open the door and give it a little stir. Now it will still look quite white, don't worry about that. Just after it's a little stir, put it back into the microwave for another 10 or 20 seconds. And what we need to do is just keep this process going really until the two minutes is finished. After the two minutes, if you look at it, and it still looks quite white and quite runny, so it's just milk, then we just need to continue the process for an extra 20 or 30 seconds. Eventually what we find is that we have a white film on the top of the cup. By giving it a stir, we suddenly start to see the yellowness come out. And looking at the consistency now, it's actually a very, very nice. Of course, if you wanted blancmange, you could keep this process going probably for another 30 seconds. But you do have to keep an eye on this, you do have to constantly stir it and make sure that it doesn't overflow in the cup, which can be done very, very easily. But of course, I think this video, especially being an 80s child, would have been complete if we didn't have a look at our classic, which was bananas and custard. So what we need is uh, a couple of bananas, peel them and then just randomly chop them up. Now if we put them into a bowl and gently put the custard over the top, is that we do end up with bananas and custard, which is one of our old favourites from being kids. So just looking at this being custard, it's 112 calories for the entire dish. That's at 2.3 saturated fat and 11.75 in carbohydrate. It does serve two, and that reduces the number of calories to 56.1. With saturated fat at 1.1 and carbohydrates at 5.8. However, if we add the banana, or well, two bananas take the calorie count to 420, the saturated fat is still quite low at 2.74, but the carbohydrates shoot up to 81.3. So once again, if we look at this per servant, so you're only using the one banana, it's 210 calories, 1.3 in saturated fat. 40.6 in carbohydrate. The thing is, if you're diabetic, sugar levels, then have the custard, avoid the banana. If you want bananas and custard as a treat, lunchtime rather than evening meal. And that's mainly because there is quite a bit of carbohydrates in there just for a sweet. And this is stored as sugar in the evening. If you have it at lunchtime, then you, have, you will be active in the afternoon. So these, some of these carbs will be changed into energy, which will benefit the diabetes. However, if you're having this at night, avoid the banana and stick with the custard. And if you actually have read my book, We Can't Spell Success Without You Power Plan, one of the few to avoid is actually bananas. 
But at this moment in time, we're living in hard times, and this is just a classic treat. So, give it a go, let me know what you think, or comment below, or send us an email. Also, if you're struggling to make anything at home, once again, let us have a comment, or equally, send us an email, and we'll have a look to see if we can make it faster, quicker, and easier. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, we'll see you soon. If you have enjoyed this video, then please provide your support by liking this video and subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook, then please like and share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thank you for viewing.